how to communicate in the dating apps to get her phone number. In this course, we will teach you how you should communicate with women in the dating apps to get their phone numbers. And when you got their phone number, you move the conversation to your phone, WhatsApp, or some other popular communication platform. Plus other tips and tricks for how to communicate in an attractive way with women on the dating apps. First, a few important things to keep in mind to succeed in getting phone numbers in the dating apps. Dating sites and dating apps are advertising sites for people who want to meet other people for friendship, love, sex, marriage, etc. A dating app is just an advertising platform for personal relationships, nothing else. And this is very important to keep in mind. You are on the dating site to get her phone number and book a date with her, not to get to know her on the dating site. You want to go on a date with her in the real world not chit chat on the dating app just for fun. Your goal is to take her phone number and get her out on a date. This is very important and many guys don't know or forget their goal with being on dating apps and end up getting nothing except pointless chit chatting and disappointment. You are not one of them as you have a goal to getting her out on a date, to get to know her in the real world. We recommend that you pay for, for example, Platinum on Tinder and for other services on other dating apps that give you the opportunity to be shown more high age and other things that can be held that can help you succeed in getting more matches and phone numbers. Don't fall in love with your matches on the dating app, not even when you receive their phone number. Wait to fall in love until you met her or until you meet her on the date or maybe after you met her on the date. It is much better to be as little emotional engaged as possible before meeting her. This way, you can avoid being disappointed and discouraged because many women on dating sites will stop answering or giving you their phone numbers. That they do so is not something you should take personally and let yourself be discouraged by. But instead, focus on those who are interested and book dates with them. One last thing before we start looking at how to chat with your matches is how to swipe and match. Only swipe right and match with the women you find attractive. Always swipe left on the women you are not attracted to. The reason you should do this is because dating sites or dating apps often have algorithms that punish those who behave like robots and try to match with all the women they can. So choose the women you think are attractive and match with them. Remove the unattractive ones because you do not want to meet them on a date anyway. On the next page, I will show you a good chat script that you should use to get a number. The reason I recommend this chat script is because it works very well and save energy and time for you. The script helps you to quickly get a phone number and then quickly be able to book a date via WhatsApp, Viber, Telegram, SMS, etc. Remember that your goal is to get a phone number and book a date with her to meet her in the real world, not to chit chat in the dating app. And here is the chat script. How's your Tinder life going so far? Uh, this chat script works very well and surprisingly often you get their phone numbers without objection, but not always. I myself am surprised that it works so well and I understand if you might be skeptical and think that this is too simple. An important thing when using script is, that, is to be empathic to what she answers and ask you so that you do not become like a robot. If she tries to pull you away from the script, follow her but make sure to return to the script quickly so that you get her number and get her out of the dating app. Uh, and in this, in this script or in my example of the script, I'm talking about Tinder, but uh, you can you can ask them for their Bumble life, their Badoo life, or yeah, Match life, or whatever, whatever app you are using. So you just change this a little bit. But the script is very good to use, and and you will see that that it really works. Now I will show you some chats where I've been using my scripts, and this one is the first one, and it was quite easy to get a number, and yeah, and it is. Very often, very easy to get their numbers, actually. And this is another smooth, smooth chat where I get a number. And I also think that, that you should look at those chats uh, more in detail in the PDF because it's difficult to really walk through them here in, in this video. So we go to next one here. I'm getting the numbers quite quickly. And here also, it goes on and on. Okay. Objections and questions from her are signs of interest. Objections and questions are signs that she is interested in you. 
she may test you to see if you have confidence or she wants to know more before she can decide to meet you. Always assume that she has objections and is asking questions because she is interested in you. Some girls definitely want to know more about you before they can decide if they want to meet you. The important thing is to respond to the objections and questions naturally and that you can stand up for your answers. For example, if she asks how old you are, your age is not a big deal for you. So if she asks how old are you, you just answer, I'm XX. If you answer something like, I am XX, XX but very youthful for my age, or I'm XX, XX but very mature for, for my age, shows uncertainty and then you might lose her interest. It is very possible that you feel insecure, but you cannot show it if you want to meet her. So you have to fake it until you make it. Now I will show you some objections and questions that might come up. Here are some common objections and questions that men usually get and how to respond or answer them. We have the first one here. I want to get to know you better before we decide to meet. And you answer, okay, no problem. What do you want to know? And you will see where it leads. And here's number two. And it's quite common, I, I would say, especially with women who are not really committed to meet you. I do not want to give you uh, my phone number until we have met. You answer, I'm not here so often and I'm, I'm a cool guy and I promise I'm not a stalker. And you will see where it leads. And if you don't get the phone number, I, I don't think you should book the date in, in the dating app because my experience is that none of the dates I try to book in the dating apps will be a real date. It's just bullshit because she's not committed to go outside the dating app yet to meet anyone. She just, she's just there to get some attention. Okay, next one. How old are you? You answer, I'm XX, and you'll see where it leads. How tall are you? You answer, I'm XXXX, and you'll see where it leads. Do you have kids? You answer, yes or no, depending on, yeah, what you want to say, and if you have kids or not, and you will see where it leads. When she's satisfied with your answers, you always go back and ask her about her number, so you can move to WhatsApp, etc., to plan your date. In this chat, I get a logical question and a big objection. I cannot respond as she wishes. And this, this of course happens, and it's just a part of the game. This girl is funny. She's testing me, and when I pass the test, she wants to meet. Uh, I think, I'm not really sure what, what this one was. Yeah, she said she wants a sugar daddy, and I say, haha, keep on looking, because you always get what you want in life. I wish you the best, and I and keep on looking for, and I keep on looking for what I, what I want. And, and she likes this reaction. And here comes next important thing. Why you should use reminders when she does not respond or stops communicating with you. Women get a huge amount of messages on their dating apps or dating accounts. We talk hundreds of mes messages every day, especially if she looks good. Her inbox can be totally overcrowded when she goes in and checks her account. And then you want to be at the top or at least high up in her inbox. To end up high in her inbox, it's important to send a message between six and nine or 18 to 21, because then most women are in and check their dating accounts. So if she does not respond at all when you start chatting with her or suddenly stop communicating, then you should send reminders. Send one reminder per day between six and 9 p.m. Use, remi use reminders from our list of reminders in this course. It may seem strange to nag her, but it works and women find it sexy when with men who are stubborn and persistent in getting her attention. If you do not send reminders, you will lose lots of women who are interested in you, but miss you because other men spam them uh, with dick pics. You are sexy. I want to fuck you and all so sorts of other unattractive shit. You're not like that. You'll, you'll send some playful messages every day until she sees you. But as I said before, it's stupid to fall in love with someone on a dating app, but these are feelings that you should only let go when you really meet. Now I will show you a list of 20 good reminders to use and a few different chats where I use reminders to wake her up and make her start chatting with me again. 20 reminders. These reminders work are teasing and at the same time funny and show that you are persist a persistent man with humor. Use them to get her attention if she's not responding to your messages. We suggest that you send minimum five, re five reminders, maximum 15 reminders. 
So, and we can take a look at the reminder. So number one is this, yeah, question mark like this. Where did you go if she stops talk, talking to you? Or are you there if she's not responding at all? Number three, sorry, your app account don't seem to work. Is your app account blocked? Uh, and it could be like, sorry, your Tinder account don't seem to work. Is your Tinder account blocked? And number four here, first, I really liked you a lot, but now I'm not so sure any longer. Number five, we really have problems to communicate. I think we need to get professional help. And this one is very good, actually. Hi, name. I think I saw you today. And okay, number seven, hi, name. What should I tell my friends about us? That is over already. Yeah, you get it. And, and it's also, you, you can, you can check, check these reminders in the, in the PDF where it's easy to find them and use them from there. So here are, are some chat reminders. And this woman, Kathy, is probably not using her account. I've sent her 11 reminders and no response at all. And it's time to give up. Chat reminders with busy woman, Peso. And she's responding to my, my reminders. But the response is probably not what I would like to, to have. But it is like it is. And the, the reminders are actually working here too. And here is a chat with six reminders before she starts talking to me. Stubbornness pays off and women find it sexy with men who do not give up. And so it is. So keep on sending reminder. And this one is a bit crazy. 11 reminders and she starts talking to me again. So uh, it absolutely pays off to send out the reminders, uh, especially if, uh, uh, yeah, if, if you're not in a super big town or something like that, where, where you, you have a lot, lot, lot of matches. As you can see, Sending reminders works very well, and you can get 20 to 25% more phone numbers by sending out these reminders. So if she does not answer, you send reminders. And if she stops talking to you, you send reminders. Forget the idea of playing hard to get or cool because it only works in the James Bond movies, but not in reality. Do you want professional coaching and help with your texting? We have a special text coaching package where we help you through the entire texting process. We will help you with everything related to your texting, and you will be able to ask us direct questions when the script is not enough to get the conversation with the women moving forward. We guarantee that if you are not satisfied with our coaching, you will get your money back. Now you know how to chat with women in the dating apps. So it's time for you to start chatting with your matches to get their phone numbers. And when you have their phone numbers, you move the conversation outside the dating app. More about this in the course, how to text her outside the dating app to get her on a date with you. We wish you good luck with your texting.